We're gonna go pick up a show. And welcome back to Cape Fear Court. So today we've got a trip ahead of us. Uh, we're gonna go about three hours and 15 minutes each way. It's a Issa male Showa. It's awesome. It's gonna be an absolutely stunning fish to add to our collection. We're gonna put him in part of the breeding program this spring. Um, what else do we have going on? We, uh, we have a sturgeon that's, that's also uh, indoors. It's in quarantine with, with this fish now. It, it's just stunning to see one of these fish. Uh, first time I've actually seen one in person up close like this. And um, what else we have? Uh, well, we got my buddy Chris from Courthouse Angels. He's gonna be riding co-pilot. We also have uh, large containers that we're gonna use. I, I think they were at one time old trash containers, but they're 300 gallons each. Uh, we're gonna plumb them up for the spring and uh, raise fry in them. And uh, they would also make a good quarantine if I was in an emergency. So um, yeah, these are beautiful fish that we're gonna see today. Uh, the pond we're going to that this one show is coming from is just absolutely amazing. Uh, some of the best fish I've seen in person as a collection. So um, yeah, so stick around, check out the video. It's gonna be cool. All right, see ya, I'm losing the phone. Oh. Got the fish, they're loaded in the cooler, all bagged up and happy. So here we go, hitting the road. And there's my co-pilot. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate that, buddy. All right. All right, so fish is in the cooler. Looks pretty happy overall. And uh, now we're off to go get some containers. So um, it's awesome. Here we go. Picking up 
Grow tanks, huge tanks. Precious cargo. Belly down, right? That's a good sign. Belly down. Fish is good. Containers loaded. These are our grow out containers. Getting ready for spawning season. Here we go. Gotta get some gas. And it's raining. Good night. Four hours later, fish made it. It's not belly up. Let's take a look. That's because he had an excellent co pilot. I have no doubt about it. Well, we can't see much in there. Quit stressing me out and put me in a pond. Yeah, four hours later. Bags leaking, man. You gotta go. Still feisty. <laughs> Let it get acclimated to the temperatures. Luckily, they're both about the same. They're uh, actually pretty good. Though. So, in the 15 or 20 minutes, water temperature should be good. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit. Then we're gonna add a little bit of this water to inside the bag to help it get conditioned. And then we'll take the fish out and then put it in the water. All right, so now that they're acclimated, he's been in here for about a half hour. So now we're gonna take a little container here, a little, little measuring cup, and we're gonna put, um, we're gonna get him used to this water here. Still pretty feisty. The yeah, water feels the same. We'll put a couple of cups in there. All right, so now I'm gonna just let it sit for a few minutes. Let him get a little used to it. See, he's eating a lot of algae before that. Water's pretty spoiled. It's been about, probably about five hours. And the water's a little dirty. But he's feisty, he sure is. You wanna say hi to the new friend? Just a couple more minutes and we're going in. All right, so time to get let them out. We're gonna unroll them and then lift them out. It's a feisty fish. Go easy, easy. There he is. Very curious. All right, so that wraps it up for this one. Um, absolutely excited about this fish. Uh, like I said, this is a an Isa Showa um, uh, from Japan. It was purchased as a Tosai previously. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to having this being part of the program. Uh, if you see that big old Kahaku back there, she is right there. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna breed her and that Showa this spring. So uh, stay tuned for, uh, for future videos about that. So uh, be sure to hit like. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and when you do that, hit the notification bell so uh, so you get notified when when the next one comes out. So I'm going to keep on updating with this fish in general. Um, now it's in quarantine, and I'm uh, going to do some updates on that. And uh, just very excited about the future with this um, this fish in particular, and just the pond in general. So uh, it just keeps getting better, one fish at a time. So until then, thanks a lot, and. Uh, I want to say thanks to Chris for uh, making the drive with me. Uh, that was pretty awesome. And uh, we'll see you next time. And thanks for being part of Cape Fear Corps. We'll see you.